Years ago, a young doctor who worked in the hospital on the Navajo Indian Reservation told him an experience he had one night when an old Native American man with long braided hair came into the emergency room. So how can I help you? Can't help you if you don't speak. Maybe come to the hospital. As the young doctor pondered the strange question, it occurred to him that perhaps his patient was a tribal medicine man who, according to ancient tribal customs, sought to heal the sick through song and dance rather than modern treatments. I don't dance. Do you dance? But as the old medicine man well knew, it is hard to dance without music. who dance often appear strange or awkward to those who cannot hear the music. The dance steps require discipline, but the joy of the dance will only be experienced when we come to hear the music. Sometimes in our homes, we successfully teach the dance steps, but are not as successful at helping our family members to hear the music. If our children learn the dance steps without learning to hear and to feel the beautiful music of the gospel of Jesus Christ, they will over time become uncomfortable with the dance and will either quit dancing or almost as bad will keep dancing only because of the pressure they feel from others who are dancing around them. The dance steps of the gospel are the things we do. The music of the gospel is the joyful spiritual feeling that comes from the Holy Ghost. We learn the dance steps with our minds but we feel the music with our hearts. the music ourselves, we must try our best to perform it in our homes. It is not something that can be forced or compelled. Children's happiness depends on their ability to hear and love the beautiful music of the gospel. Can you teach me to dance? I can teach you to dance, but you have to hear the music. <laughs> 